Okay, as I just walked out here, it is approximately 12.20 p.m. And you can see what this guy is looking like out here. And so like I said, we are getting just a little bit of precip. But I want to make mention about these carbon plumes that I have brought up recently. And which now the meteorologist is going a little bit further, stating that um, the reason being for these carbon plumes is because of the wildfires out west and how it has been affecting uh, the states between those wildfires and Michigan and Michigan itself and creating this haziness that has been going on. And so that leads to one surmising that uh, the coloration of the sun that has shown to have changed in my recordings from that of the bright white to orangish and me also reporting on that orange uh, type of lighting that we were having would also indicate debris in the atmosphere from said wildfires but then when you really observe what has been going on with the activity that has been transpiring that I've been showing in the skies over my head with all of this spraying going on who's to say that it is actually particles and residues from said wildfires that is affecting the skies here in Michigan. Just something that popped in my head. And I also want to make mention that uh, without being able to see anything, there has been uh, aircraft activity in the skies. And just like I've reported in past videos, this has been becoming a commonality before any precipitation event. Okay. And as I'm speaking, I can actually hear one right now. I don't know if this will pick it up or not. But there is one flying up over these... Uh, contrail clouds <laughs> so that's my sky observation report and weather report for today have a great one i'll be back all right it's just a few minutes after uh, the previous clip that i had recorded and i thought to step back out here after reviewing that clip because well the sky just looks a little strange and so I thought to spend a minute or two with the lighting turned down just that much more as I'm recording to see what might be seen. And I also want to bring up something else. As far as today's terms and terminologies and definitions uh, concerning the activities up in the sky. Any more weather modification, geoengineering, cloud seeding, uh, those typical terms, I feel, yes they are, are all equally applied in their own manners. But the term that I would like to express that is in my viewpoint much more applicable is that of terra reforming terra meaning earth this earth has been already formed and in ancient accounts sorry that is a drag strip vehicle <laughs> anyways uh, this place was formed and then according to ancient writings, it was reformed and now through science and technology, it is once again being reformed. 
And so I feel that that is the overall term that should be applied to everything that is going on up there today in regards to the weather systems and so forth. Just in weather in general should be considered aspects of terra reforming the manufacturing of what once was known or referred to as natural events, natural weather events. There's just too much proof and evidence is out there. They've even thrown it in our faces by that statement claiming that they would be in control of all global weather by the year 2025. They are showing that. So if they are willing to make claims and statements like that, then you know that this is the reality of what is and what is to be. So therefore people expect that so-called <coughs> prophecy to be a reality that there will be a new heaven and a new earth. Just something else to think about. And please do. I'll see you on the flip side.